Hey dudes, in this episode, we see if the Vine Farm works. We're starting to set up the Enderman Eyes and we're in deep! It's the real Duke, and that's all happening right now. What is going on, dudes? How you guys doing? It is the real Duke, and I'm coming to you from the Crafted Server, brought to you by the lovely people that do Infinite Heights. Uh, lovely people like Discoveries, number one cool dude, thanks buddy. Also, myself, number one, number two cool dude, I guess. They're, they're not in any particular order. There are several number twos. Uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, I'm getting off topic. So, what are we going to do in this episode? Well, let me tell you all about it. We are going to see if the vine farm worked, which you can see that it did. I have a new... A pair of shears that I named Citizen Snips. If you, if you are a fan of Futurama and you, uh, you remember the Zookeeper episode, that would be very funny to you. Uh, it's about a crab. It's a uh, Futurama is awesome. If you don't know, you should go check it out. It's awesome. Um, so I'm gonna trim some of these up and then, so I can do this while we talk, I guess. Then we are going to head to the end. Yeah, this is working really well. This is working really well. We're going to head to the end and get started, get going on our Endermanizer. And I've been doing some work there already. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the game mechanics behind what's going to make that work to a higher degree of efficiency. Now, there's a couple things, a couple decisions I made that um, are not necessary, that, that make it a little lower efficiency than it could possibly be but you know i'm i'm balancing these things against you know how much time i'm willing to put in up front because that's a big concern materials how many materials i'm going to use and things like that so you know i don't know it might not be the most efficient design, but I think it's a pretty good design. It's not 100% my design either. There is a million ways to do an Enderman farm. Um, you name the cool YouTuber, they got their own design. Um, a lot of people like DocM77's version that he used, which I think he figured out with a couple people too. Um, my version is similar to that. So that's what we're working with. Uh, if you haven't looked up that tutorial or you think, oh, I'm not going to be able to do this in the end, like, you know, just you're wrong. You're going to be able to do it. It is very, very, very simple to do. So we're going to show a little bit of redstone. We're just going to get just just barely into a tiny bit of redstone and, um, and everything's going to be fine, I promise. So let me just, uh, I obviously have too much garbage on me again. I probably... Oh, don't need as much garbage. Stop making fun of how crappy full of junk my my trunk is. <laughs> oh, I made a joke and I made myself laugh. So let me I'll just dump dump those too, no big deal. So I'm gonna grab just a couple more of these. We actually don't need anywhere this many I near this many, I don't think. But while I'm here, it doesn't take long, so I'm just gonna grab a couple and I wanted to fill you guys in a little bit on what we were thinking about doing. Uh, so just a couple more. I'm not going to make you sit there and watch me farm this whole thing, but I think these are a huge success. So I got like almost a stack and a half for a couple seconds of work. And I mean, I've just been buzzing around here doing my thing and these have been growing, growing, growing. So pretty solid. So let's head to the end. So here's what we got. So if I come up here without looking at dudes, don't look at Enderman. You can see they're all around me. So right up there is the way back. That's the way back home. So fortunately, we were able to end the Ender Dragon close to where we spawn in. So I don't need another rail system to get there. Um, but here's the rail system that I have to get out there. And it's very, very easy to use. I don't know why I have quite that many things in there. I'm not going to need a shovel, so I'll stow that for right now. Boop. So I hop in hit the wood button and off we go and then as we look back here look at all those dudes so they're not spawning on the rails they will spawn on rails but they're not because they're lit so I have a glowstone block every five blocks there's a glowstone block that's powered from the side by a lever and that lever powers the glowstone block which powers 
the powered rail that's on it. So that's, you know, we kill a couple birds with one stone there. They are not spawned. So that's why they're not spawning on the track. The light level's high enough to prevent them from doing that. But then also, whoop, the sides of the rails are the bottom slabs, which uh, they will not spawn on either. So we'll just put that in there for right now. But here's the platform, okay? So what am I going to put on this platform? Well, I can put whatever I want on this platform, but... Uh, let me just break this real quick so you can see uh, how I got stuff under here. So what I did was, it's a very simple trick. Very, very simple tri trick, and I'm just going to put some ladders here for me to just jump up. Get, yeah, so I can get back up. So... Um, I just kind of just, you know, walked along the edge, holding shift and sneaking, right? Blah, 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 placing blocks by hitting the edges. You know what I'm saying? And then I did that all the way out here. Now, I'm far enough away that I can't see the end island anymore. How far is that exactly? I went out about 200 blocks. After 128 blocks away from player, mobs that spawn and instantly despawn. Okay? So... I think you probably only have to go about 128 blocks away. Because then anything spawning on the surface of the end that you didn't clear out, that all just it just instantly despawns. But it could still maybe, I guess, affect the spawning rates here. I'm not that deep into the Minecraft code, right? So I'm not 100% sure and I can't verify that. But I went just a little bit beyond that anyway by about 75 blocks. And then when I got to the end of that line, which was right here, I grabbed the water bucket and I placed water right where this piece of right on the side of this glowstone lamp where this piece of ladder is and then as the water I let the water start to fall for a little bit and then as it fell I dropped down and this is important because okay I didn't walk off the edge okay I didn't just walk off the edge because that will keep my momentum going in this direction. Then I have to turn around and try and swim back this way. And I'll actually swim outside of the water stream and fall to my death. You have to just just slowly, very slow, as slowly as you can, come out to the edge and drop. And then all you have to do is hold space. And then when you hold space, you'll that'll make you swim. And then you can just kind of feather hitting the space button. And that'll just kind of keep you keep you hovering. And then you can just throw a couple blocks onto the bottom of that, swim back up on top. So that helped me build a platform. The platform was a lot bigger. It just kind of it kind of went all around there, so I could get all these switches and stuff on. Um, I broke down a lot of it, and because uh, I just you know so I could keep using those bricks other places, those blocks other places. So let's grab that. I can still get up with that. Yep. So that's how I did that. That's how I got stuff on the underside. Let's see if we can see from the side. There you go. You can see they're, they're just uh, levers on the side. No big deal. No big deal. And then the light levels are high enough out here that nothing spawns, which is cool. Um, which is like a glowstone lamp. Every one, two, three, four, five, every seven blocks. And then every five blocks again on the sides here. So nothing spawns. So what do we have here? Well, here, this this little dude right here is going to be the start of our ladder, and we're going to go up from here. So let me switch that out. I want to place a block there, right? But this is block number one, okay? And I place this at two. Okay, this is two blocks high. There's two blocks between. Um, there's half a block there and half a block there, so that's plus that is two. Okay, so what this means is if I come to here, nothing will happen. Okay? I can't get up onto this half slab. And that half slab is where all of our endermen that uh, get caught in the trap are going to fall onto. So they're going to fall onto here. So, so that we can one hit them, they need to fall from a height of 42 blocks, 43 blocks. And here's how I figured out 43. So counting this block as one, okay? Counting this block as one. We'll go up. So this is two. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. 
So that's the 43rd block. Now this block, this 43rd block, has to have the signs in the row. It has to have the signs in the row that the that will stop the growth of the vines. Signs in the row that will stop the growth of the vines. Okay, so I'll I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. So right here is nothing at this spot and I'm just making sure I'm lined up correctly here and I am so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so then I'm gonna come over here place a sign and I'm about to die Oh, I'm okay! Sweet. <sighs> Don't do that. My heart is in my chest right now. It's alright, I needed to put these up there anyway. I think it's sweet how I blocked my way up onto the level by putting that there. There's going to be stuff spawned up here. It's going to happen. Or we might have a fight on our hands. It's alright, we'll fight our way through. We will fight our way through. So, he can't spawn on these slabs. So that means that... Let's see if I can not look at him and just shove him off the side a little bit. And I did. Awesome, okay. Ooh, that was sweet. See if we can shove this guy off too. Shh. 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 Yeah, right. There you go. Okay. Woo. That was a little nuts. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> fair. Where were we? Here we go. I'm just gonna put this here. I'm gonna place as many signs as I can from on here, and then we'll keep going. So what's gonna be right above these is two rows of vines and I will show you in one second so I'm just gonna build one row of the endermanizer for you give me that back done done I see what happens so I hold down I hold down shift when I place the sign shift releases And so I walk full speed again. And that's how I walked off the edge. I was like, I'm, I know I'm hitting shift. What the heck is going on here? Yep, that is what's going on. So I'm just going to finish placing these. Oh, that is scary. That's scary. Two more. Watch it now, watch it. Watch it now. Got an enderman down there. Don't look at him. Don't look at him because he's going to come up here. He wants to get my action, make it his own, but he can't. So we're going to have boop, up here. And this is just, these are just the blocks I chose. I chose half slabs down there to economize. You need full blocks. I guess you only need one row of full blocks where the second level of blocks is, but whatever. I want to make it look a little nice too. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm saying economy of blocks definitely should be right. Definitely should be concerned with the economy of blocks. Um, but you know, make it look good if you can. If you can, hey, if you can, you know. So this is me doing more economy of blocks, and this is working okay. Okay, that was a little scary. A little scare scare. Let's do it from over here. Ooh. Feather falling boots will make you slightly less afraid. To be even less afraid, top tip. To be even less afraid or even less worried. All you gotta do. Right down there. Right down there. All you gotta do. Pour some water, buddy. And then if you fall, you fall right into the water. No big whoop. No big whoop whoop. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so <clears throat> here is where the vines come in. Yeah, 
this. Now we could just wait and let these vines grow down. We could do. But meh. Okay. So that's gonna catch them. Now we're gonna build the first the first row plus the piston pushers. And it's gonna be a piece of cake. You're not gonna believe how simple this mechanism is. So let me get this up here. Let me get more of these slabbies. Start here like this. This is just how this is how I like doing it. There are many again, there are many other ways to do it, whatever way makes the best design for you that's easiest for you to do that still works is what you should use whatever that is if it's my design or not i'm just giving you something to to think about here when you're trying to work on it okay it is going to be really fast it's going to be really fast it's really quick and really easy and you could be using whole blocks here i'm using half slabs again just to economize on materials a little bit And right now I'm the I'm the top slab. I'm putting the top slab down. And I'm just making a ring. Okay. Piece of cake. Now on the sides here. I am throwing these down. Thusly. I'm not gonna do the whole thing for you guys, because that's gonna take me probably an hour or two to do this all those levels up. I'm only going to make this probably six levels. Five or six levels. I actually don't need this one here. This is an extra one. And I just... <laughs> for the sake of economy of materials, I'll just drop this one into the void. Not a prop. No problem, buddy. Okay, let me just... Yeah, that's right. So... Okay, once we get this down... We're getting close to being done. This is silly. It comes together so fast. Okay. So you need a block there. And then continue that row. Right. And you can, again, use whatever. Use whatever. It's all good, baby. Baby, it is all good. So this is 15 blocks wide. Why? Because... I chose 15. It can be as wide as you want, okay? But as wide as this is up here, that's how wide your catching area down below is going to have to be. Just keep that in mind, okay? 15 blocks wide by about 5 or 6. Uh, 15 blocks wide by about 5 or 6 uh, levels of this, uh, of this system work awesome, okay? So what I'm doing is, here's the basic idea. Basic idea, easy peasy, living greasy. Check it out. Blip, blip. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, see this? So, this power from this goes into here, which shoots it into this block. On top of this block, he's going to be setting one of these dudes, and watch what he does. Boom! And these are going to be the only spawning pads up in this whole thing. Only valid spawning locations. Four Endermen up here. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Top tip, put put those pressure plates down last. Now, um, I'm going to alternate to economize on materials. I'm going to alternate with redstone. Because when we put a pressure plate down next to, in this spot here, this is going to turn into a straight line piece of redstone. It's not going to connect into the sides of the repeater. It's going to shoot right into here. It's going to point right into there. And that is exactly what we want to happen. So it's going to power this block, which will power the, uh, which will power the, the piston on it. So from this side, we do across. See what I'm doing? Easy peasy. Let me do the other side, same way. I'm doing this. Slightly terrified, but having fun in vanilla. So you don't need special tool. I'm look. I'm using cheap stuff. It took me a lot of slime balls. I'm not gonna lie. It did take a lot of slime balls. That's true. Okay, but you know, hey, 
you're gonna have to work I'm not saying it's it's not gonna be any work whatsoever I'm just saying it's not as hard as you probably might think I'm gonna need to go home anyway to get more to get more stairs uh, stairs ladder pieces which I also forgot on my way up awesome so we're just gonna start filling these in okay Piece of cake. And I'm just building this over so that I can get over to this other side. Okay. Come on back up. Again, use cobble for this whole thing if you want. Use sandstone. If you live in a desert biome and that is easier for you, dude, do it. It doesn't have to be anything special. You could, If you really wanted to, you could just enclose the whole thing in a big case and never see any of it anyway. You know what I mean? So it doesn't even, it doesn't even matter. It does not matter what you use. Make it easy on yourself. Okay. So I'm going to put a couple blocks here, just like this, so that we have the side closed off. I just, I get paranoid sometimes that they might... I don't know, that they might, that the Enderman might, like, fall out the side or something. Which they won't, because they're falling straight down. I don't know why I would be afraid of that. I just, you know, I am, I am afraid like that. Deal with it. <laughs> Deal with it. Hmm. So I don't need this one here. Okay. And the last thing you should do. <laughs> the last thing. I promise the last thing you should do. Is put the plates down. Is put the pressure plates down. Because otherwise it will knock you off. You will do it by accident and then you will fall to your death. Unless you have feather falling boots. Which still, even if you do have feather falling boots, it's going to scare the crap out of you. And I don't want to be responsible for that. I don't. I don't need that. But see how the redstone straightened out? So it's connected in there. Am I going to test it to show you and possibly fall to my death? Absolutely not. There's no need to. We're going to start getting some endermen working right away as soon as we get down to the bottom so how do we prevent them i recommend you do this you don't have to do this if you're gonna stay up here which is a good idea and just finish this whole thing in one shot you don't have to do this but if you're not going to like i'm going to not do that make sure you got top slabs or bottom slabs all covering every surface because that's not going to be a valid spawning surface for the enderman so they can't spawn on it so they will give you trouble if you try and come back up here. You know what I'm saying? And I messed up this side here already. This was right. That was right. Yes. Okay. Here we go. And I just bust this one. And then we're just going to head down and watch. I'm telling you dudes, listen. There's only one of these. And as soon as we get down to the bottom, we're going to get some Enderman dropping. It's going to be like right quick. It's going to be sweet. Check it out. Here we go. Easy now. Easy. A little scary. Don't look at that Enderman. Maybe even before we get to the bottom, we'll see some falling. Boom. Look at that. Yep, here it come. Boom. Awesome. So this side is open, so they're just kind of flopping out because I didn't close it. Uh, when I, from when I broke it before, when I fell and scared myself to death. But check it out. They should be one shot. Yep. Yep. Just like that. One shot, no big. Dudes. That's it, man. How easy is this? What are they gonna do? See if I can just knock this guy off the edge here. Nope, he's coming for me. He wants me. Come get some. You ain't got nothing, baby cakes. Baby cakes. 
Um, were you guys paying attention? Because you just built an Enderman farm. It's a small one, and it's not working very fast. But, dude. I have no idea how those guys got up there. But we'll, we'll work that out in a second. I think that's the wrong side of the slab. Yeah, they're spawning up there, I think. I don't know. We'll figure that out, but that's not a big deal at all, dudes. Check it out. How easy was that? How easy peasy was that? Look at me. I got two levels off that already. We can cruise around here. Oh, yeah. Let's head back up just real quick. Run through the mechanism again. How was this? Okay, this is a bottom slab. Meh. We'll figure it out. Will, will a sword strike kill this guy? Yep. Yep. Okay. So for some reason they're going off target. So I'm just gonna double check up there. Maybe we'll need some more some more guidance. Some more guidance on the way down, possibly. That's what I'm talking about. I was afraid they would come down crookedly, but we'll see. And then I'll show you the finished one next time. You will be able to check it out. It's going to be awesome, dude. It's, it's going to be so sweet. I'm so excited about it. You have no idea. I'm so excited. Uh, and then we're going to do up the bottom, man. What, what kind of stuff should we put down there? I mean, we're going to need anvil, right? Oh, don't knock me off. Ooh, it's getting real here right now. Getting real, getting really real. Alright. And I keep looking at them. I'm so good at this. I'm sure he's like right by me. Anyway, so the. I gotta turn this down because that is. That is crazy. House of Creatures off. There we go. So all we have is a pressure pad, right? You stand on it, a pressure plate, they step on it. It triggers the piston to shove them off the side. It's there's nothing to it. Now, why is there this these vines here? Vines absorb all fall damage. So if they're falling from like ten levels up, they hit those vines, and it slows them down. And it slows them down so that all of them drop from the level of the sign at the same speed, so that when they hit the ground, it is no big deal. It's no big deal. Because otherwise, they were like from. If I have six of these and they fall from the top one, they're going to be falling from higher than 43. When they hit the ground, they're going to die. Does that make sense? You see what I'm saying? So, because they're all slowing down on these vines, they all hit the they all hit the ground from the same height at the end of the vines, essentially, which is 43, which it kills them, or 42 if you're not counting the one. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I think that is it for this episode. I hope you dudes enjoyed watching. I hope you found this very useful. I hope you found this very unintimidating. It should not be intimidating at all. It is a very easy peasy to do. It's a very easy thing to set up. It's a little scary being up here. You do also have to defeat the Ender Dragon. But if you saw us take the Ender Dragon out, you know that's not bad either. You can totally do this. You are totally capable of doing this. I promise. I promise. Use cheap materials. Use, use cobblestone if you have to. You know, it's no big deal, dudes. Seriously, you can totally, totally do it. Totally capable. Nothing at all to be intimidated about. Um, you know, in 20 minutes, we kind of came out here, harvested vines, and set up one thing, and I got, I was already using it, and it worked. Okay? It is a piece of cake. So, again, I do think that is it for this episode. As I die, as we watch me die, no, I'm all right. I'm all right. Um,. I do think that is it for this episode. I do truly appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful again. Uh, I really do, really, really do appreciate it. I know I say it a lot. I want you to know I mean that every single time. I do. Um, so, yeah, man. You can catch me on the Infinite Heights Minecraft server. If you have any questions about this, I'm on there. Leave me comments. Any kind of questions you have about setting it up. Anything you want to know, dude, just ask. Let me know. Um... Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Check out Infinite Heights at InfiniteHeightsMC.com. That's where our forums are. We have all kinds of announcements and such about server contests, all those kinds of things. Check out my YouTube channel for other Let's Plays, Let's Builds, all kinds of Minecraft goodies. Got some Starbound action on there, too. If you don't know that game, check that out. It is sweet. It's so good, you guys. Seriously, it's awesome. Uh, but that is it for me. Again, I really do appreciate every single view, comment, 
like and sub. It is the real Duke. I'm running for my life from these Endermen. Thanks, dudes. I'm out.